Hey guys, in this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Prince of Persia port and we're going to get it up and running on our Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. Okay, so another week, another firmware release from At Games for the Legends Ultimate. As I do with all of my other videos, I'm just going to give you guys the bullet points as to the changes that have happened, and then we're going to jump into getting that Prince of Persia port installed. So the first thing that we're going to talk about here is that we are getting three new leaderboard games added to our list of existing leaderboard titles, and those games are Boogie Wings, Astro Fantasia, and Super Pool 3. So I definitely love seeing that they are expanding this lineup. Honestly, the leaderboard games are probably taking up the majority of the time that I play on my cabinet, so I do very much like that they are expanding this lineup. And there are a couple more features that we've got with this release. We now have a replay function to simplify score submissions, just because there are a ton of games that you can play, and in just those last seconds of you dying or losing, you really don't have very much time in between that happening and hitting the menu button in order to submit the score. So they kind of give you a little bit of a grace period here where you can kind of rewind and you can actually find a shot of your score to submit. And the other cool thing that they've included now is that you no longer need to quit the game in order to submit a score. So previously you would submit a score and it would automatically take you back out to your main menu. Now that's not the case, you can go ahead and submit the score and go ahead and start up another game. So those are definitely some welcome features. There are a few other things in terms of settings and miscellaneous minor UI improvements, general performance and stability improvements, things like that. But that's more or less it for this release. Now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump over to my computer so I can show you guys how to get Prince of Persia up and running. All right, so we are on the computer right now, and this is actually one of the really nice and simple ports. There isn't a ton of work that needs to be done. Big shout out goes to Wildcoder, as always. He's the one who provided me with this port, and it is running fantastic. So, link to his YouTube channel in the description down below. If you have not gone and subscribed, please go down, subscribe to his channel, show him some love. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Okay, so jumping into this first and foremost, we need to grab our Prince of Persia UCE file. Now I do want to mention this is the SDL Prince of Persia port, and you can find a ton of information about it in a GitHub link. I will leave a link to that in the description down below if you want to read up on it. But the only other thing that we need aside from the pre-built UCE file is the actual game data. Now this is not something I can link to or tell you where to get it but you should be able to locate it with a simple Google search, and that's about as much information as I'm going to provide about it. In terms of the structure of the folders, you're going to want to create a Prince of Persia folder, and it needs to be labeled with a capital P on both Prince and Persia. Once we open up that folder, we're going to have a data folder inside. This is the data folder that we're going to grab from whichever game copy you happen to have laying around. And inside that data folder, this is what it should look like. So we're gonna have the full game and full access to it right within here. That is the structure for our Prince of Persia folder. And that's more or less it. All we need to do is load these things up onto our USB drive. So the UCE file can actually go anywhere on the USB drive. Now I've already got a ports folder because we had done the cave story port and the flashback port. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this and dump it into this folder as well. Next, what we need to do is load up our Prince of Persia game data, and we need to go into our content folder. And if this is not something you have, you'll need to create a content folder. Then we're gonna go into ports. And you'll see here that we've got a few different things going on. As I said, I did Cave Story Flashback, Scum VM, this is where they are. We're gonna go ahead and grab our Prince of Persia folder and dump that into here as well. This will just take a couple seconds to transfer over, and I'm gonna skip past it. Okay, once it's transferred over, we're actually more or less done. We don't need to do anything else to our build. We can grab our USB, pop it into our arcade cabinet, and give it a shot. So let's go ahead and switch over to that arcade cabinet now. Okay, so here we are on the arcade cabinet. As always, we need to pop our USB drive into one of the two USB ports on the control deck, and we need to wait for it to load. Once it has loaded, we can go ahead and make our way over to the BYOG section where we are going to now see the add-ons feature available to us. We're going to go ahead and select that and enter into that option. 
Now we're going to be able to see all the directories that we have pre-built on our USB drive along the left hand side. We need to navigate to our ports section because that's where we loaded up the UCE file. And once we do that, you're going to see all of our ports visible, including Prince of Persia. So there's not really much left to say here. I will mention that I'm going to leave the controls and all the information that you're going to need in the description down below. So if you're curious about how the buttons work, you can go ahead and shoot on down there and take a peek. But we're going to go ahead and jump into some gameplay and then we're going to wrap up the video. So sit back and enjoy. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. Prince of Persia port brought to you by Wild Coder once again. He's doing fantastic work. Please subscribe to his channel, link in the description. But that's all I've got for you. If you guys have any questions at all, or if you just want to tell me what you think about this port, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you did not like it. Any engagement really helps the channel out. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys again real soon.